Hey, what's up? Cool. Um, I've been like debating playing this game for a while. I was like, yeah, why not? Like, I've literally had this game for five years. And I've played it. Figured, uh, why not do this? Since I can't really do like a long, uh, like don't know if I can do like a longer sort of LA stream. Uh, really, uh, <laughs> it's kind of frustrating day. Like, <laughs> weather forecast has been saying it's gonna rain like all day. It was like, I think it like said it was gonna start at like 10 or something like that. And it was like 70% chance of rain. It just hasn't rained. It's been sunny. It's been really nice all day. And I was like, any minute now, it's gonna start raining. So I'll stay inside. But uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. Like at all. But, you know, I don't wanna risk getting rained on. I don't wanna risk getting wet anyway. So I'll, uh, if you to do something else, so yeah, I'll play this for a little bit, a little bit, meaning like probably about a couple hours, something like that. Let's see how I go. Never played this game before, so I don't even know how hard it is. Assuming a uh, thieving challenge, intended challenge, all achievements, cool, great, amazing. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> But yeah, this game's looked like awesome. I like uh <laughs> I really want to play it and I just like I don't know why. I don't know why I never did. I think it was always just like some the right time. Something like that. It was always shit distracting me. It was like twenty sixteen, so yeah, would have been like playing a lot of uh, Final Fantasy, uh Skyrim. Uh the same shit that I'm always playing now, but you know. It was like when I was like really back into it. Back into it. Back when I was really into it. <laughs> Uh, you know, so. made a real actual effort to uh, make sure I dust everything in my room and then I uh, wiped everything down as well with um, like wet cloths, alcoholic uh, cloths and uh, everything is really really clean and nice looking. I'm very happy. Oh my god. I wonder if I'm going to be able to do that in a real game. scary. This shit's really freaking me out. Dog is friend or rival. A lot, of, a lot of bullshit happening right now that I don't quite understand. I don't think I like this game. Just kidding. So this is a simulation. <laughs> okay, so down does that.
Did you just like spit in blood? Okay, D pad doesn't do anything. I keep wanting to use the D pad, but uh, this game's not gonna let me. Uh, why to take? Why to take? Do a heal. Cool. That was the extra one that I used anyway. <laughs> so I can use heals multiple times. Bup bup bing. Why interacts go down? Seems pretty good. This feels like a video game. <laughs> I've been playing Hades, been playing, I haven't played in like a week now, but I was playing a lot of Hades. Which is another game that I always like, I bought and then never actually played. Because I was like, went to play, I bought it during beta. And I was just like, yeah, not the right time, I guess, for whatever reason. I don't know why I ever think like that. It's like I'm always like in a better place when I'm like trying out new games. It's not true, but. I was like, I don't know, make more good memories when you're uh, playing a new game. I find I have a really bad habit of press Y to ping the HUD. What? Okay, cool. Let's just have me go up there. I was like, what? What the, what the fuck does ping the HUD mean? Oh my god. What's up, dude? Oh, a gun. Hmm. shot and whatever but I always like the game that let me nope I don't know why I was like I have to shoot this guy I was like thinking about like gun fighting him gun battling City. Hmm. Oh, am I fucking coughing up blood constantly? I oh, need. Oh, I need it. Some kind of Twilight Princess contraption. What's up, Michael? Did a stream notification go out, or were you just browsing Twitch? 
think that appears to be, you know, uh, what that is, I think. I know w what that is. It looks like, it looks to me, like it's a, uh, it looks like maybe uh, some kind of, uh, maybe like a city or something, but I don't know. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. You've been on a real wrong street lately, lately, ever since LA. <laughs> Got a notification this that's sweet. Cool. That's good to know. Maybe we just have to play a different game. That wasn't uh <laughs> that wasn't any of the games I've been playing. Did I fucking okay no I didn't. <laughs> I thought I got trapped I thought I trapped myself in the thing for a second. Behind whatever that metallic contraption is. I don't know I don't know what this means. Ugh. God. Come to gaslight and argue about musical instruments and I'm all out of gas. I was like thinking about that like all day. Like what that could be. That instrument. Uh, Like the day after. And I was like, because it's, <laughs> cause it's not a trumpet. And it's like, it's clearly some kind of sax or whatever. But it's just like, I, I literally cannot figure it out. But I went back and I listened to that, <laughs> to that whole thing. It was really fucking stupid. And me just progressively yelling more. Us dog. It's kind of dog contraption. He really said. It's a cat person. At my old house on windy days, the wind would blur through the clothes line and make that whistling noise. <laughs> to me, it sounded exactly like that. Maybe they sampled it. The game was made in Australia, after all. Whee! Mayhaps it was just a sample. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, shit. Fuck. Ah, ass. <laughs> It reminds me of uh, Hotline Miami. I literally brought that up just before about the um, shooting because I was like, I like the way Hotline Miami, Miami. I always say Miami, Miami. I like the way like the uh, the gun works in that because it's just like the mouse and like like with a keyboard, which uh, mouse and keyboard, which is like what you're meant to play with. I like the way like the reticle you can like control it. I know you can do it with a controller as well, but I like using a keyboard and mouse for it better. Miami. It's not about your Emmy, it's about my <laughs> Ah, yes. I heard this game kind of like meant to be like a, like a, like a Zelda or something. Shit, I think I could go in that. Ah, but ass. Ah, shit. <laughs> I'm really pissed off. I'm really one pissed off game today because I um forecast was be, has been saying it's gonna be raining all day. I went to Celia like when I started because I was just rambling. 
but not a not a not a drop, not a single drop of rain, white wane. Not a single one. I could have gone outside today, and I decided not to. Do I have to shoot this? It's like Zelda. Zelda was a girl, I guess. Yeah. If only. If Zelda had like a scratch and peen, maybe perhaps. I actually made another streamer really angry because I kept saying Samus was a boy and it was named Metroid. Is that me? <laughs> I thought they could tell I was clearly making that ancient jerk. No, nah, some people are just not. <laughs> they, they just don't. They just don't assume you're joking. It's like I have the opposite problem where I always assume that people are joking. Like not always. Like I fall for gaslights constantly, but I mean like you know. I often think that people are joking when they're saying something like really stupid. And then they're like they're not, and I'm like, uh oh, whoops. But then like 30 minutes into arguing with them, I started to realize they thought I was serious and were actually mad. So, ah, my favorite Nintendo character, Metroid. He's my favorite character to play in Smash Bros. Oh, a, a frog? Ah, some kind of frog bear. Some kind of horrible fraud, 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 frog with bear claws. Pretty cool. Go in there. Go in there and fight the red skull. Oh. Frog is a said to torture and execute a cat. It's a kind of strange cat man. But what did he do? What? Oh. No, never mind. Just fucking go down that way, idiot. Really bad at like recognizing these things so far. It's the second time I've like stared into something and I've uh, just completely misinterpreted what I'm supposed to be doing. Thinking I'm at like a, some kind of some sort of dead end or something. What does this mean? Thoughts I got sprayed, <laughs> sprayed, ah, uh, spayed today, and she's drunk as fuck. It turns, tries to take like three sticks and falls over. It's so funny. People's just maximum dilated. The poor, the, the poor fella. You hate to see it. 
That's good though. You got it when she was a kitten, yeah? You got both of them when they were kittens, yeah? I'm still coughing up blood for goodness sake. Yeah, they were both kittens, yeah. Not from the same litter though. Because that would be insane, actually. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be. You don't even have to answer that. <laughs> yeah, no. Clearly no, especially since Fat is like so fucking small. Kind of purple square, I, I guess. <laughs> mm -mm. No dialogue so far. My favorite thing about video games is dialogue. When's it? When's it gonna give me the, the lore dump? Don't tell me it's all visual storytelling. I hate that stuff. My sister has a cat from Fat Size Little there. I think she was talking- I think I- was she talking about that at the barbecue? Did she call it like Zeppelin or something like that? Is that right? Or am I just insane? Am I making things up? Yeah, Zeppelin. Yeah, sweet. Nice. Look at me. Look at me remembering things. Having a conversation and then remembering things? Me? Could never. Get cold, gets cold Pepsi a lot there. <laughs> Is it a sugar fiend? Is it sugar rushing constantly? The um, the, I'm looking at the the chat window thing on the uh, stream. It's uh, not doing too well. It's like <laughs> it's like barely fucking can barely read what's going on there. Warp here anytime using the map. So nice. this is like a dungeon. Is this like a temple dungeon thing? Nope. Just a cat person. That's oh, a dog, maybe. They got harassed by frogs, and then they got captured and killed, and beheaded one, and then the one was holding a rock above its head, about to end it all. Sort of evolved like Zeppelin, Zep, Zeppy, Peppy, Pepsi. <laughs> Is it like as small? I, I don't know why I'm just asking about cats. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna ask. Is it as small as Fatsai? But probably not. It's a, it's a male cat. But granted, my cat, uh, the one that lives in my parents' house, it was like, it was like fucking. Its whole litter was born in like a patch of dirt, like under a house in uh, you know, suburb. I was gonna actually say the suburb. Uh, <laughs> and they all had like parasites and shit, uh, in them, and like they all got rescued. And whatever, and it's, the whole litter got rescued. But like, I think because of like that, because they had like parasites in its brain and shit, like they had to um, like no, they didn't have to do anything. Sorry, they like once it got the uh, once it was like clean of all the parasites, I think it's like uh, affected um, his growth, so he's like a very small cat. Like he still kind of looks like a kitten, but like a kind of a fatter kitten. He's hefty. Shit. Bigger than fats up by a lot, yeah. I was gonna say. It's usually how male cats go. But I always make the mistake and being like, oh, right, no. My cat's just a, a freak. My cat's a genetic freakazoid. Because he is small. I don't know what the lore of this game is supposed to be, but everyone seems to be animals so far, and I'm just some kind of blue humanoid. Oh no. 
Oh, I thought that was a poison. Wait, is this poison or is this grass? It's grass. He started coughing up blood in the grass and he thought the grass was poison. Uh oh, you got tuberculosis. Uh oh, tuberculoids. <laughs> Freddy Freako. One four nine oh four one freak. I don't remember the numbers. Ah, oh, some kind of oh, some kind of cat human plant alliance. Ugh, what the hell? They have a dodge. I'm sure, it's not gonna get much harder than this and start demanding more of me. I thought he was just the boss. I thought it was just the one boss. I was like, this is pretty easy. But never mind. It was a it's just a harder enemy. Oopsie. <laughs> What's my health at? One, three, two, three, 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 four. Now the freak is knocking on your door. Ow. Shit. I saw Ernie's playing uh, Final Fantasy VII again. And I was like, yeah, sweet. He's like streaming it. Cool. I'll uh, check it out. Uh, he's done like four already. <laughs> and it's just like, I can't even keep up. It's like, I have to just like marathon it at some point. Or actually try and catch one of his streams, but that's near impossible for me. Fucking creamed. <laughs> I managed to catch one the other day while playing my favorite game, Final Fantasy XIV. Not very gamer of me to die like that. Good fucking god. Hey. Almost 200 fucking hours. <laughs> Literally all I've been doing lately is GM in Final Fantasy XIV. S school? how I do that. Shit tons of running deferring. Ah, okay. Why? Why? Oh wait, no. Hold on. There's more to, there's more to that. I'm trying to get in the police academy? Why I'm also not streaming at them? Oh, I see. Is that why? Is that why you've been watching my LA Noir streams?
You like how I just liken everything back to fucking video games? Because <laughs> it's all I do. Nah, but that's fair enough, I guess. That's, uh, pretty sick. I remember my, like, my, my blah, 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 blah. one of my friends was, like, really, uh, really wanted to be, a like, a detective, like, growing up, but it's, like, he wanted to be, like, an old-timey detective. He was, like, I wanted to, like, <laughs> he's, like, I want my own, like, custom revolver and, like, a trench coat <laughs> and shit. And I was, like, it doesn't happen. It doesn't exist anymore. It's, like, you can't do that. He's, like, no, like, you probably can. Surely. It's like you, don't, you don't have to do it, but it's like, I think you can if you want. I was like, no, <laughs> no, I don't think that's how it works. confusing. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, don't think I'd be here. Jesus. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, alright. No police force on Earth uses revolvers anymore because they're obsolete long. <laughs> But, but they're so cool. So big, strong, and powerful. I thought it was just a matter of firepower, like in video games. And nothing else really matters. <laughs> healing items whenever I want in combat. I don't know why I don't do that more more often. I think I'm so used to playing recklessly. Also because I've been playing Bayonetta. Which is a much nicer game. Not really. <laughs> the game's kind of a mess. It's really dated. Uh, I still like it, but it's like, it's really a... Uh, some of the stuff is like really frustrating in it. Uh, okay, maybe some third world countries where they just use ancient equipment, maybe lol. You have to be a general duties police officer for three years and then express interest to become a detective and then you have to sit and exam and undergo additional training. Honestly, can't not doing that if I get in. Is it like, oh right, oh yeah, that's right. Cause like, not what I was saying, not about this conversation, that's what wasn't, I was like, yeah, that's right. Cause I was thinking about a, a police, like, recruitment shit because one of my friends wanted to be uh not that one but a different one was thinking about it for a while and was like really uh upset when he couldn't get in uh to the point where he started saying psycho babble shit which is like you don't want to hear a potential police officer saying like later on it's just really angry um but yeah I forgot that they, they do like, is it like every three years or something like that? Will they start like recruiting for more? I have no idea. I have no interest in being a cop. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck ass. How the fuck do you... No, oh, okay. Like that, probably. Fuck! Ah, oh, dick! Ah, oh, dicks! Ah, oh, fucking ass! This game's a bunch of fucking dookie diarrhea ass fuck. Ass fuck shit. Ah, oh, fuck ass. Yeah. Did you fail the psych 
If, no, it was because he had a previous... No, wait, hold on. Hold on, I'm thinking of something else. He would have failed the psych evaluation because of a uh, history, I believe, which I can't really get into. But um, I think also because he had like a like a physical injury, maybe. Or maybe I'm thinking of the army because he did try to get in the army after he couldn't get into the uh, police force, and he also couldn't get in the he couldn't get in the army because of a physical thing. I don't remember why exactly he couldn't get into the police. How the fuck? How the fuck do I do this shit? How the fucking shit ass donkey diarrhea fuck? Ah oh, fuck ass. <laughs> I gotta stop, sorry. So like... Alright. I don't understand. Is there a jump button that I'm not pressing? Is there a shoot button? Do I shoot across? Do I shoot like this? Does that activate them? No. Because they activate as soon as I touch them. <laughs> it's not. Do I go down here? Am I going to be... Oh, I know, because I can just activate this, can't I? Yeah. Oops. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I couldn't see where I was, where I was hitting. Oh, fuck it. Fucking hell. I've been thinking about it for a long time, because my ADHD brain could not survive in a normal career where everything is predictable on the same every day. Yeah. More or less where I don't know if I have ADHD, but yeah. I get what you mean. Ah! We should get like two step or something, you know what I mean? Life is a struggle, and then you fucking kill it. Shooting these guys are probably easier. I probably need to use the gun a bit more than, I'm, than I am. If I could shoot properly, if I could aim straight, if I could aim exactly where I want to shoot. If I could just put my thing where it, my god, holy fucking shit. Stop. Stop. <laughs> just, just, just ate it. Fuck. Stop. And then I waste a bullet immediately. Yeah, no, I kind of, I, I, I totally get what you mean. Like I fucking, I've hated every single job I've had. Probably just better if I like go for like each as they come. Yeah. Need a good mix of routine and unpredictability. I think I just need unpredictability. I think it's the only thing that actually makes me happy. <laughs> Anything resembling a routine, I fucking, I start, like, I just get depressed. <laughs> I 
Aha. A square thing. A square thing that mayhaps may come into play, mayhaps later. Mayhaps. Mayhaps maybe one day. A lot of people don't like surprises in their professional lives, but I thrive on not knowing what's going to happen next. It's just a focus. To get rid of any and all forms of monotony. Especially when you don't want to do it. Jack Russell brain, yeah. Like this fellow here, right here. This Jack Russell right there. Yeah, cool. Whatever this is. Neater. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Pretty insane of him not to finish off those other guys. What's up, buddy? Cool. Man with square. And then in the dark, fight against Centipede. And then the Centipede had an eye. Crazy. Crazy stuff right there. Some, some kind of black Centipede. Ross Black Centipede, obviously. straight on that there's got to be like a way that I can like avoid I mean going past it obviously might help oh need her a secret path to cat gun man <laughs> and I just jump in the water for good measure I expertly clear out a room and then I jump in the water to take damage. Make the enemies feel better about themselves. Because I'm such a good sport. Ass. Ass fuck shit. Ass fuck cunt. I watched a bunch of videos of like just people complaining about um <laughs> Boogie two nine eight eight. It's like so weird to think that he's like fallen off. Not on surprise, but it's just like you know. Isn't he going to jail? I don't think so. I think like he got in trouble for firing off a g for firing off warning shots. That guy. Thought he had his trial for firing his gun in the air. I don't think he's going to jail for that though. 
I don't think. Could be wrong. But like he did have a guy like show up to his house and like quote unquote harass him. Not to downplay what happened, but god damn it. Not to downplay what <laughs> actually happened, but you know, it was just a stupid uh internet thing. I don't think he's going to jail for it there. I could be wrong. It's just like it's interesting to see like just how like like just se complete self-centeredness and like self-loathing, and then just like what she's like <laughs> what she's like decline. Not that I ever watched this content to begin with, but like, I mean I I saw the uh, saw the occasional Francis videos that he did. Fucking shit. Fucking shit. Ugh. Like way back in the day, back when uh, Ray William Johnson was talking about it. I think my uh, my IT teacher showed me it actually, because he was like talking about the whole Diablo 3 server thing, which was actually cool. That that I actually like that teacher. Uh, looking back on it, even though I didn't do the work, and I don't think he liked me that much because I didn't do the work. <laughs> I am getting my fucking ass kicked, man. Ugh. God. I got a health back from that at some point, I guess. I guess we got a health back or something. Oh, I don't want to fight this guy. No, oh, it's multiple guys in the I thought he was like a unique guy, and I was like, oh, he looks nice. I don't want to fight him. Fucking shit. I'm in a zone in Final Fantasy XIV now with the uh, actual Tyrannosaurus as enemies and even some kind of Final Fantasy name for them either, they're just straight up Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I don't know, at least it's... Honest? I, I don't know. <laughs>
<sighs> what are the uh, uh what are the enemies like in that game are they like as interesting as the <laughs> interesting quote unquote as they were in fucking final fantasy like seven but they were all just like fucking stupid nonsense that made absolutely no sense Or are they more just like cliche fantasy? There's a huge variety. That makes sense. I guess it's a fucking MMO. It's an MMO that people have been playing for fucking like eight years now. Eight years. Five. Six. Seven. Years. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Where the fuck am I? For fucking God's sake. That's Shrapnel. How many characters you got in that game now? Like six? Like seven? Like eight? Only two. Oh, really? Did you beat the whole fucking game and level cap? What do you do after level cap? What do you do in an MMO after level, ca level capping? Is that not what I think it is? Not level cap. I thought you were. Clearly you're not, obviously. Just beat the vanilla card. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Shit just keeps exploding. expansion from 50 to 60 and then another expansion from 70 to 80 and then there's the next expansion coming out in a week or something like that from 80 to 90 oh okay my bad i thought you said you were already like level 60 or something like that in a the group chat thing clearly not fuck me fucking hell That's a warp. There's these things here. I'm up here. Oh, there's a purple thing there, which I'm guessing I have to get. I, I, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I can't keep yawning, yeah. Why am I yawning? Whoa, uh, up to hit level cap, you work on your item level, do raids, get rare loot, put months, mounts, and stuff, participate in all mini games, side content, and stuff. In most MMOs, the end game is typically considered the point where the game really starts, like in WoW. But I like Final Fantasy XIV because it doesn't feel like that. There's constantly tons to do as well. You basically were only trying to sprint to level cap so you could do the fun stuff. So leveling like, like it's short. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm looking, I guess I'm just thinking about it in like terms of like, like just old JRPGs because that's all I fucking play. Fuck me, man. I have a fucking health 
kit, so I can at least use that. Shit, need to remember that. Need to remember to hold Y. Hold Y, gamer, or collect items. I'm crazy that there's not a hidden item back there or something like that. Or something like that. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, so where's this? Where, like, that means door, I guess. I guess this is nothing here. I guess I, 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 I'm assuming. What is this fucking game? Like fucking Kingsfield 4 or something like that? What the hell is even going on? Who am I? Why am I here? What the heck am I fighting for?
Oops. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Hades again. I fucking pressed the wrong button. I shot. Shut out a little glob of red. Globule. Uh, left, I guess. Have I gone left before? I have. I have. My father. My father. Was a gamer. Ah, I didn't get out of the fucking way in time, you stupid asshole. You fucking idiot. Is that the bad? No, I just need to get, get back here. <laughs> but I'm consistently stuck on one health. Let's say really game this up. That's not where I want to be. I don't think. What? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I need to dodge. I don't know why I'm not. I'm just like running up to everything and just like trying to brute force it. And it just ain't working. You stupid bastard. God damn it. I'm trying to do this all with one health and it just isn't working. Uh... Uh, I need to find. I need to find another health pack. I'm gonna crack my window open and see if that stops me from fucking yawning. It's like I'm not tired. I'm not sleepy, I swear.
Put on your floppy pom pom nightcap and long johns and light your candle in your brass candle holder and have a warm glass of milk. I'll stop you from yawning and make you not sleepy, I promise. I'm already doing all that. I already have my candlestick out while I'm gaming. Playing this one hand. Got my gaming controller in one hand and the floppy candle nightstick in the other. There's a health pack here. I can use that. Why not, you stupid bastard? <laughs> I've just been constantly seeing uh, Patrick Bateman TikToks, where it's like, when my therapist says I'm autistic and not a Sigma male, and he's like, <laughs> and it just cuts to a clip of <laughs> Patrick Bateman. <laughs> it's really fucking stupid. As soon as they fucking fully heal, they just take no damage. Never mind. I stand corrected. I'll shut the fuck up. I'll actually do something cool before I say I, I do something cool. Anting like I've already fucking done it. I just have. I hope a fucking siren doesn't go off. I'm really mad. I'm so mad it's a nice day. I was prepared for a, a shitty day. Where am I out there? Alright, that was my fault. I like most of the stuff. I like most of what's happened today. Uh, that one was my fault, specifically. Alright. Alrighty then. Remember that one? Remember that sick quirk? Okay, it's pretty windy. Not that windy. They stuff where, I, where I'm standing. I was like sitting outside earlier. I was like just annoyed that it was nice and just trying to find like a rain cloud or something. Just to confirm my suspicions. I may not lose faith in the bomb app, but uh. As if that fucking asshole was just. God damn it. Take the fucking health pack now. God fucking shit. Standing outside squinting at this guy, shading your eyes with one hand, making irritated noise as people walk by, yeah, on my balcony. Balcony, quote unquote. The roof that I'm not supposed to be standing on. Getting there, kind of.
Holy fucking shit. Skip across here. I'm dead if I don't. It's like they're so obviously telegraphed as well, and I'm just like not. I'm just like not like getting it. I'm trying to dodge through them and I don't think that's actually what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I feel like that's worked for me before. It's not really working for me now, whether it's an actual, like, game function or if it's just, like, I got, like, lucky once and I've been trying to like, replicate it. Or if I even just thinking I got lucky. I don't know. Just, just be smarter, I guess. I like to stand from the top of my roof and just start grunting, and start screaming. God damn. Oh my god. Fuck me. God damn it. It's really hard to get overwhelmed there. Some like three hit combo. Doesn't really do much to me. Did that for me. See the 30 second teaser at also posted on YouTube of Smiley Friends? No, I haven't. I think I saw it like recommend to me at some point, but I was like looking for another video. So I did see like a little snippet of Smiley Friends. That might have been it. But I didn't like actually like see it. I just looked on nail. I scrolled by, assuming it was like some some other Smiley Friends content. Related content. I'm glad they uh, picked up that share there. Especially since Zach was like fucking. I remember back in like Sleepy Cabin days when Zach and Chris were talking about getting a. like talking to Adult Swim and trying to sell uh, Hellbenders. I 
pretty much the only reason they didn't is because of a another show that had that word hell in it. I figured it would, that was called. It was like the fuck was that called? Hell something. It's good. Just the shows, the thirty second gag from the show. I'll, yeah, I'll check it out. I definitely need to. I definitely need to watch like a comedy show. It's not fucking terrible. Cause I haven't, I don't think I've seen one ever. <laughs> no, I think I'm completely jaded when it comes to like adult like comedy animation. I'm not saying it's all terrible either. I'm just saying like it's usually not my like speed. Really. Just like sit in this little corner, okay, that one by one. Well, I, uh, your pretty face is going to hell. Was it that one? I thought it was like something else. Yet another example of Tim and Eric snuffing out small creators. really hard. Sweet. Cool. So it's just one more I need, I guess. Look like Zach, uh... I feel like Zach hit the nail on the head regarding the problem with adult swim animation nowadays. I think it's, I think it was in an Ernie plays or something like that. But he said comedians are making the mistake of thinking it's cheap and easy to make an animated series. Well, yeah. Look at the, um, it's a comedian. Is a really shitty comedian named uh, Jim Norton, who has a character, uh, that's like is equally as like unfunny. Like he used to be funny, but now he's just kind of a cunt to like everyone. And he also may, might have maybe, uh. Did something with someone underage, but uh, yeah, he like uh, had like a GoFundMe to like make this like horrible like show that like he just it, it, it I don't know I don't even know how to get like how to describe it it was just like so bad. He scammed like so much fucking money out of people too like for it and I was just like yeah, I'd be sick of me and there's just tons of bad animated series out there. That all look feel like vaguely like Family Guy or Rick and Morty cross between. Uh, yeah, sure. Even what's his name? Uh, Bill Burr's show. Uh, what the fuck is that show called? Uh, that uh, that's very. The main character looks like just like uh, a different Peter Griffin. It's like I don't think it's like played for laughs or anything. I think it's just like, you know. Uh, but that one's actually not. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But like even then, it's just the art, the art style just kind of blends together, and so it's like not that memorable. Uh, but Tosh Point also had a show like that, um, which you, yeah, you just asked about. No, sorry, I was talking about um Jim Norton. He used to like be in like a radio show that I like have like listened to like old like archived clips of. But um, yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Bu -bu -bu -bu. Not the animation. It'd be better if more effort was put into the animation. Because Billboard's comedy carries it, yeah. Yeah, I bet. I mean, again, like I've seen bits of it, and I don't think it's really my speed. Granted, I don't know what really is my speed anymore. But you know, I've heard that one's like not bad. It's like I fucking I watched uh, uh I watched the few episodes of Big Mouth and I fucking hated that. So I I genuinely like uh, like that's something that like I cannot figure out why people like. I think I feel like people just like that show because of what's his name he fucking worked on a uh, Parks and Rec. 
I forget his name, but it's I fucking I I despise that shit. <laughs> Hate a big method. Yeah, good. But uh, not bad, not funny. None of the jokes landed for me in the art style. The art, the, the art style is fucking disgusting. I mean, good on him for not doing fucking hate other characters. Yeah. The whole selling point of the show where they have fucking really huge, gigantic mouths. And how you're sexualizing fucking like 13 year olds. But it's done in like a way where it's like commentary of puberty, but I don't know. To me, it just kind of fucking skis me out. I really don't like the way. <laughs> I really don't like the way that show's handled. And I also might I think that's like a... What is it called? Like a litmus test for like just people who I'm like getting to know as well. I think I think that's... <laughs> I think that's one of the things too where I'm like, I, I, if you like this show, I might just not... I think it snuffs out any potential I have of getting like close with another person. Is if they, <laughs> if, they, if they like that show. It's almost like they're trying to do like a classy cheaper thing but without the charm, yeah. Or the animation. Cause a lot of that stuff too was just like it's it's tweens and stuff and so like even like rick and morty which is like another show that i don't like it's like and they do use tweens but it's like there's a lot of um like that show actually looks quite nice like in terms of like animation it's controversial but i also couldn't get into bojack horseman i mean that's yeah i uh i don't <sighs> it's weird i i think i like bojack but i I hate it at the same time because it's like I hate the characters and stuff and so I get a lot of like what they're trying to say with like you know so it's weird I feel like it's really self-indulgent uh Bojack but I don't hate it I think like characters like Bojack especially who I fucking like I completely despise because he's such a piece of shit and I get that that's the point of the character and like Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's it's hard to put into words, especially when I'm trying to explore through a video game. Um, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I get like, yeah, it's weird. I find it frustrating, I guess, trying to like get through that show sometimes because I'm just like, I fucking... <laughs> but it's like, I don't think I hate it. I think I like the show. It's just, yeah, sometimes it might just like... It might bother me a little bit too much sometimes to the point where I, I don't like... Uh, I don't like binge watch it like some people do. That's how I feel about it. You meant to hate them, but I like other shows. The cast full of horrible people, but the premise of that show. This case is just unrelatable, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I, it's not even so much like an unrela like unrelatable thing for me. Like, in some cases, yeah. But, like. I don't know. I, it's. It just. It might be just be the way the dialogue's, like, written. Whereas like it feels like a little bit too like self um self aggrandizing in a way. It's like it feels like the writers are just like straight up like just talking to you. At some point. Like they're saying something specifically to resonate with you, and it doesn't so much like And it's like that's the point of like a show and stuff like that. I think I just like it more when it's carried through like more dialogue. Or if they're gonna like start monologuing like that, like I like it. I think I might like it a bit more when it's like campy and shit, if that makes sense. Writing horrible character is a tightrope walk. I think Bender from Futurama is a really good example of a shitty personality done right. I think early Bender is. I don't like, uh, I actually kind of hate the later seasons of Futurama. <laughs> so I don't know how people feel about that, but from what I've seen, it's, I actually like, I, I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like characters specifically like Bender and even like Hermes to some degree, like are, are done just like, I've been here. I've done this already. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly. Like, I wish it could, like... I wish I could, like, pull out clips especially, like, specifically to show you. And this is more of a discussion to actually have, like, in person. Uh, you know, if I'm going to, like, have any control. Like, not control of the narrative, but, like, you know, if I was, like, going to try and make, make it, like, prove a point. If I was going to use specific, yeah, specific examples, like, I can't pull it up on stream and be like, this is the shit that I hate. Uh, first run was on the show. Is that oh yeah, for sure. Like seasons one through four are great, like consistently. 
Don't hate the later seasons, but they're not as good. Yeah, I, I, I think the. Maybe it is just that. Maybe it is because like, but I don't know. I feel like it's gone from like a, a great show to like a mediocre show, and I kind of fucking. I think I hate. <laughs> I think I just hate the mediocrity more than I. Even more than a bad show, because even a bad show I can hate watch. Like Big Mouth, I kind of did that. I was just like. I was probably like when I watched that, I was like, <laughs> I was probably like I cannot fucking believe people like this show. It's like I don't even remember why. I'm just I'm like just going off like the the impression that I got. It's back in like 2019, so it's been two years. So it might be another a sign for me to go back and give it another shot, give it another try, and then like actually like you know put into words like what it is specifically I don't like about that show, apart from what I said already, which was mostly just bitching about the art style. But like uh yeah like Futurama as well. It, but like no okay like even like South Park where it's like South Park's like still good like both critically and like from what i've seen it's like still consistently good but it's like i prefer the older i'm sitting down because i'm not fucking how the fuck do i get over there like uh i i really like the f the, the first like the first few seasons of south park like seasons like say like two through like eight i, I guess like roughly i don't know like what specific episodes I, but like i think season six is my favorite just when they didn't have kenny and they were like trying out new characters. I think that was like my favorite like run of South Park. But like even then, right? It's like new South Park still coming out. People still like it. I from what I've seen, like I still like it as well. Like I still but like because there's a South Park that I like more, I'm more likely going to gravitate towards that. Like anyway, it's like I'm still going to I'm still gonna. If you ask me, like, if I wanted to watch like an old episode of South Park or a new one, I'd probably just say an old one. You know, even though like I would probably still enjoy, even if it's less so, even if I'd still like enjoy like a new, a newer South Park. You know, and it's like it's easy to say with like shit like The Simpsons, where it's like, like Simpsons is, it's, uh, uh, it's a dead horse, I know, but Simpsons is like some of the worst shit I've ever seen. Like, like, newer Simpsons. And, like, like, to the point now where it's, like, it's actually worse than Family Guy. And it's, like, Family Guy's, like, Family Guy throws so many jokes out there. That, like, even though it's a fucking complete mess, and it's just, like, of course, like, some jokes are gonna land. If you're constantly, like, throwing them out. And, like, most of the jokes are disgusting. Shock humor, whatever. It's like, yeah, um, but like Simpsons is like, it's, it's weirdly like pandering as well. Like it's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's like, that's kind of like what my sort of drawbacks are with like a lot of adult animation stuff where it's like, I just can't like, you know, it's, it's not my thing. And so it's really hard for me to actually like to like uh actually like enjoy recent example is like the cowboy bebop live action adaption people claim if you don't like it don't watch it you still have the original, but in fact, the existence of the adaption does mar the original. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, to a degree, I, 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 it does mar it a bit. Like it is like you can't, you can't just have something anymore. Like you always have to talk about like the the new adaption as well. You know, like for better or for worse. It's like I've, uh, I, I didn't know how to feel about like the, the JoJo stuff for a while, because like JoJo has a bunch of live action stuff, and I was like, I don't, and I still don't know how to feel about it right and like i don't know but like netflix yeah netflix adaptions specifically and i guess that's more to the point because fucking um what was it death note death note got its like live action thing like um it got it it, it was uh cursed with it uh like back in 20 this is fucking ages ago now i think like 2016 maybe 27 no maybe 2018 
exactly because no matter what, the live action is going to enter into conversations about the. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like a uh, Ghost in the Shell. I, I couldn't have just like. And granted, I'm not even the biggest Ghost in the Like, I love Standalone Complex. I love the first movie. That's all I've seen. That's not all I've seen. I've seen, um. Uh, what the fuck's the other one? She's got, like, blue hair. Arise? Uprising? It's something like that, I think. Uh, which was fine. I didn't love it. But it's, like, Standalone Complex is, like, it's, like, I love it. It's, like, one of my favorite, like, animes, like, ever. And it's, like, I know, like, the, uh, like, I, I think the movie's great, too. But, like, for different reasons. Um... But yeah, what am I saying? What am I trying to say? Oh, right, the live action stuff. It was like... It was just... It was so like... God damn it, I'm just... I'm <laughs> just, just, just dying constantly. Um, the... Yeah, I, I can't like... I can't just talk about like liking like Ghost in the Shell. Because like every time I do people... Like, the only other experience that like most people who I've talked to have had is like you know just seeing the uh like just the poster for um like the ghost in the shell live action movie like most people haven't even seen it but then it's like <laughs> like, like uh, you know what i mean i don't know it's like i haven't seen the um i've only seen like that one scene with ed from like the live action uh cowboy bebop and i was just like when i was like browsing through tiktok because it's like i knew we were I knew it was either going to be, it can only really be like mediocre and, or bad. Like you can't be it, like, and it's not even to say like it can't be good, but it's like, it's just, it's not going to be good because it's a, it's a Netflix adaption and it's just, they, they fuck it up every time. They've never made anything good. <laughs> it's not true, but like, it's, just, it's, I don't know. It's such a fucking mess. And it's like, I don't get the point why they do it. It's like, I guess it makes the money, but. I don't know. I don't know what goes like through these fucking studio execs' heads. When it's just like you give like a series to someone who doesn't fucking care about it, and then they're just gonna do what like, they don't have an idea for it. So it's like you just like you just give them the script because they want to work. It. <sighs> I, I don't know. It's just like, and it's the problem with just like sequels and like live action adaptions in general. It's just like they just fucking completely refuse to make something like anything new. Because why would you? Because it's like you've already you've got like a guaranteed market. Because like people who people who love Cowboy Bebop like they're gonna watch the new, they're gonna watch it. They're not just gonna say no, like they're not gonna reject it. They're gonna and like people some fucking cunts are excited about it. I just can't. <laughs> it's just so. It's so actually pissed off. People were mad about uh, Faye Valentine not being so sexualized, and people said people were just being incels who wanted a uh, scantily clad big booba lady. But people missed the point that Faye sexualized herself, and it was a primary point in her character arc. Yeah. My favorite episode is when she finds the tape of herself as a child. Yeah. F yeah, Faye's like. <laughs> as like I, I don't, Faye's probably my like my least favorite, but like yeah, like she's got like she, she's an actual character. And it's like you know yeah, there are a lot of like female characters that do just sexualize themselves anyway. I feel like it's a little bit like overplayed. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's a memory of contrast between her innocent child self and who she is at that moment. Yeah, yeah, all of Cowboy Bill was great. It's a, it's a very good twenty-six episode series, and that's all it, and that's all it is, and that's all it ever was. It's all it needed to be. It's like the only like thing that like you could do. Is like, like I don't know, make a movie or something, or you know, make a series about like what Spike was doing before all that shit. But like, you don't need to do that, you know. And the only the only excuse you could do for that is like if the original creator slash writer wanted to do that. 
heard they want to make a sequel to Samurai Champloo as well, which is it wouldn't it literally wouldn't work. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get first off, it'll be a bunch of white actors, so it'll it'll <laughs> it's already its own problem to begin with. But then it's like, what? You're gonna get like a bunch of like a, a bunch of break dancers who know how to do like sword play and like insane choreography, and it's like, what are you gonna do? Like, are they gonna rush through the plot of it? Or is it gonna be like, cause like the whole thing is like journeying from like one place to another. And it's like, can you cover that much in like, it, it, like in a traditional three act structure? I don't think you can. And granted it's the same with Cowboy Bebop, but it's like even Cowboy Bebop, I think you could like, actually Cowboy Bebop, I guess you could just like cut down the, the plot if you wanted to. Like if you're gonna make a movie, which you shouldn't, but. Yeah, uh, Samurai Champloo had possibly the most perfect ending I've ever seen anything ever, and the sequel would ruin that, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, the only thing you can really do is, like, prequel stuff, and it's like, why would you do that? Like, it's not needed. And it's like, the only real thing you could do is, like, or just do something else that takes place in the universe, but people aren't gonna do that. Even a prequel would ruin it. Yeah, pretty much. It covered all the backstory just fine. So really all you could do is just like do something in like the same sort of universe if you wanted to. But then it's like, why would you do that? You're just doing something else that's like in the same like, in the same vein. Ironically, a prequel would, ending, <laughs> would ruin the ending too, yeah. I guess like more so focusing on uh actually no no you're right yeah no yeah my bad yeah you're totally right <laughs> this is near I guess god damn it I'm making like <laughs> no progress. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Cause it's like, you gotta go like there and get to there. But how do I do that exactly? How, how would one do that? It's about three strangers to come together out of sheer coincidence and circumstances to go on a journey. And then the, and once the goals complete, they all go their separate ways and every, outside of that journey is intentionally unknown to the viewer. It's a destination of bittersweet. And I don't want it to be trampled by some fucking stupid <laughs> Netflix execs. Well, guess what? It's probably gonna happen. People are watching the uh, Cowboy Bebop movie right now. People are talking about it, and it's like, regardless, it gives people, it gives them money. It gives them trash, like traction. Fact is, like your Netflix subscription is like is contributing to that like to production costs and shit like that so it's like i don't know i'm not saying you, you i'm saying like you know in general like people like if you have a netflix account then like, you're contributing to the fucking shit that netflix like pumps out constantly consumers who just want more for no reason well yeah it's like you get especially when it's a shit show like you get more content out of it like YouTubers and shit like that, which like, you know, they make their money and whatever, but like, especially to just p like casual like watches, like people who watch like video essays, which is like, there's fucking millions of them out there who enjoy that type of thing and like want to see like new things that are either good get praised or bad get ripped apart. And so it just like, it contributes to that whole like, just like self-feeding cycle. You know, like the worst thing a movie can really be is mediocre. And even then, it's like you can still pump out enough content about that. I'm talking about how frustratingly mediocre something is. Can you hear that siren? That wasn't going past, never mind. I don't know, it's just frustrating. Like.
which is like the most redundant thing to say about it. Oh, it's frustrating. Uh, mass is bad. People sheep. Bleh. Have they been here? Ambulance going to Newtown. Just heard the call on my radio scan. <laughs> Nice. Cause like the best example I can give out is like Better Call Saul, which is like just a prequel series to like a different character from like Breaking Bad, right? He was just like a it was a fun side character that a lot of people liked, and so they gave him his own show, and it's like it like it like it's really good. Like I I don't think it's as good as Breaking Bad, but like I prefer it over Breaking Bad if that makes sense. Ass yes, shit, fuck. I cannot believe it hasn't rained a, a fucking drop. It hasn't fucking. It's. Uh, it's making me angry. It's making me angry that it's not raining right now. It's not ruining people's days. I've been here before. I've done this before. Like. Like what? Where am I supposed to go? I'm not even supposed to be here today. Going back to like live action adaption stuff there, like going back to it, like we were just talking about it like five minutes ago. But um, I think like, I'm trying to think, right? Cause it's like, I've seen a bit of the, uh, the, what's it called? The Full Metal Alchemist live action one. And like, from what I remember, it was like, it wasn't like, it wasn't even bad. But it was just like the same kind of like, it's the same like reaction that I have to all of them. Like all of those like fucking jurors. Where it's just like, why, why? Like, I don't get it. You know, and I haven't seen the Jojo ones either. And it's like, I don't know if I really want to. guys are not helping me at all. Oh, it's a healing thing. It's like a healing station, I see.
I have no clue how to get past these things, man. Like, none at all. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be, like, doing. <laughs> like something I've missed or what is that door just like saying three is it saying I need three yep I guess so fuck me all right I guess that was what I was meant to do it's a bunch of rebeltos I was watching this uh, video uh, the other day. They were like talking about because they're complaining about the new uh, Switch uh, exp expansion pass thing, where you can play uh, like Genesis games now and uh, Nintendo 64 games, and how like a lot of them aren't like a lot of them really aren't up to up to snuff <laughs> in terms of where they should be. I feel like charging people extra for emulation stuff. And they're like they're going through like the history of um like just different like console like emulation stuff that they did and how like they like how like the Wii was like the pinnacle of that like how like they like specifically like made like different like uh, emulations for each um, individual game that they put out just for like more like accurate um like more of an accurate experience to the original. And how they just like started to like drop the ball like after like the Wii U stuff where it's like they all had like for the Wii U emulation they all just had like the same um like they had the same emulator ring for each one which is like still fine I think like I played a few of the N like N64 games and it's like I didn't notice like too much like bad stuff but like yeah it's a shame because like I didn't even know about the the 64 stuff so when I saw like when I saw it I was excited because I was like cool get to play fucking 64 games in the switch but it's like it's more money they're charging like extra for the expansion stuff which I don't want to I don't want to do and then I've been convinced out of it thanks to um, <laughs> people doing their um, research Yes, bullshit, they're charging another subscription for that. Uh, it'd be at least acceptable if it was available under the existing subscription, especially since that's only like 30 bucks a year. Shouldn't be a subscription at all, I am or, but at least it's not too, uh, yeah. Like it's still like the cheapest one out there in terms of like subscription based stuff, but like still, it's just like, eh. 
I don't know. Like, granted, I don't, like, I never paid for any, like, Xbox or... I don't even know if they still do that now. But yeah. I don't know, it's just depressing. I really miss the Wii U. And the Wii, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. I wish I um, had like internet access for the Wii back when I was uh, a kid, because then I could have uh, bought like a bunch of uh, emulated games and stuff. And I would have had like a, I would have like, I would have played my Wii so much more than I already did. They do, but at least with the Xbox, you get an absolute fucked in a brand new games for free with it, and new games every month, including new triple. Oh, yeah, that's right, because they have the. I forget what it's called. Isn't that shit like really expensive though? Isn't like, isn't like around 30 to 40 a month? Or is it cheaper than that? I had a friend who paid for that shit, but I never really, obviously never did. I didn't actually pay much attention to how much he was actually spending. Because he like sells like his Xbox like probably like once every few months to, for drugs. And then he gets the money back again. He buys another Xbox because he's bored. And they'll like eventually sell it again out of desperation to buy more drugs. Ah, oh, cool. That was it. Fifteen bucks a month. Oh, okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Never mind what I said. Why would you ever buy a game ever again if you had that? Bucks a month, 10 bucks a month if you want it for only console or only PC. Wait, are they, what do you mean only PC? For Xbox games? Or is it like a Microsoft Windows thing? I'm guessing it's a Windows thing. All Xbox games are on PC too. Huh. Even like what was it called? Like Rare Replay, stuff like that? Is that on PC? Are you saying that I can play Banjo Kazooie right now? Or is that just like new releases and stuff like that? Cause the rare replay thing was like Xbox One wasn't X Burn, X One.
freaking, freaking sweet. Damn it. Didn't need to heal. I decayed, but I remember re Rare Replay was announced for Switch uh, when it came out, but then Nintendo must have cancelled it for some reason to stay quiet about it. That sucks. That's a fucking damn shame. I would have loved to play that on Switch. That stuff on Switch. Fucking sucks. I really, I really just want, I really just want everyone to be like, yep, every game, PC, past, present, future, every game that ever existed, we're going to make it compatible with Windows 10 going forward and everything else. It's like, I just want to, I just want Mario, <laughs> I just want Mario on Steam at some point. <laughs> Like, and I know that that's just gonna make, like, Steam, like, fucking, like, just a complete, like, monopoly in terms of store shit, but I just, I just want it. <laughs> I'm still coughing up blood. Blood. That blood? Uh, what's the shoot button? Oh, cause cool, it's a shotgun. Gotcha. That's... That's alright, actually. i probably use that a bit more. But I don't have to be so accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, ass. Sam. What was that all about? Uh, luckily what killed it was the decision to bring Nintendo 64 emulation on and the other NES and SNES. Only Vanity PC has over other consoles that you can play consoles on the couch. I mean, you don't even have to really. You can just get like a long HDMI cable. <laughs> Just took it up to the TV. I guess I could, but... Honestly, you can do that with your PC. Yeah, you can do it with... Yeah. You can just do it. <laughs> the only real... <laughs> the only real setback with PC is that it's not fucking... Uh, it's not... Uh, you can't. It's not handheld. <laughs> Can't play PC in bed. Oh, what are we doing? Is it this way? Or is it that way? Or is it to that way? They're all back. They're all back. This is how. This is freaking hell on earth. Damn it. Damn it. Steam Deck is basically going to be a handheld PC. It's probably also going to be a huge piece of shit, though. Steam aren't really good at putting out anything that isn't um, <laughs> already out there. Do you remember the Steam controller? Not to be a negative Nancy or anything, but... <laughs> but, uh, felt bad, actually. Contrary to popular belief, but Valve actually bad. Fucking shit. God damn it.
Uh, um, Steam Deck is basically. Oh boy, I already read that. But the Steam controller actually isn't that bad. I heard it was a huge clunky piece of shit. It just isn't good enough to justify replacing your Xbox and PS controller with, you know? I mean, it might have some advantages, like apparently it makes RTS games pretty playable on controller. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I'd heard it wasn't that great. I, I don't have faith. I had to be a cynical piece of shit, but it's just a. Uh... I just can't see it being good. I'm really sad I never had a Vita. Like, ever. I never had a PSP either. But specifically a Vita. I was like considering buying one for like ages and ages, but I never really got around to it. Never really got around to setting aside the money for like a fucking old ass console. Old ass. It's like not even 10 years old at this point, but I mean, you know. Fuck hell. Jesus Christ. The video was basically an ebook vision novels. I mean, yeah. It effectively is. But, like, I don't know. This had some, like, had some really good games on it and stuff. And it's like, you know, you had the, like, a lot of the um, PlayStation 1 library that you can get on it as well. It's just like, I know it's a PSP. Like, it's a, it's just a better PSP. Effectively. And that's more or less what I mean. I guess I just, I kind of think it's a shame that it didn't like take off as much as it probably should have. Same with like the Dreamcast, it was like, <laughs> it's just a shame. That it's like a, a, a good quote unquote console. That probably just didn't hit the numbers that it was meant to be hitting. Here that I need to be. No, it is not.
<laughs> I'm actually something I'm just thinking about, like, synth stuff in general. Like, I'm really glad that something was like dying now. Is like that '80s like nostalgic like synth wave stuff. Like, and it's like not even to say it's bad. But just like I'm glad I'm like seeing less of it now. Because of how like how like it just like it, it came on with like I think I guess Stranger Things mostly started it. I kinda know there was like a lot of uh eighties nostalgic things before then. As well. But I think Stranger Things is really what broke it into like you know, like massive like mainstream stuff. And so we're still seeing it, obviously. But it's like I don't know. It's like the specific like flavor of like that synth uh, sound format, synth sound um sound profile. That I'm like glad I'm hearing less now. I know this like obviously hearing it right now in this game, but I mean just like this game came out, came out in like 2016. I guess it's like it's something really specific that uh, I'm just I'm sick of hearing. It's not even like a necessarily bad thing. It's just like I want to hear less of it. I want I want new things. Or it's like if it's gonna be nostalgic, then it's like I either want it to pander to my nostalgia or to be nostalgic about something that isn't usually um. Isn't usually a nostalgified, pornified via nostalgia. It's because it has moved into commercial space. He has sent away and ads and shit now. Now when you hear it, it sounds generic and commercial. Yeah, I guess sir. So. I guess I don't watch ads, sir. So. Because I don't have a TV. Uh, it's something I'm glad it's. I feel like it's dying, but granted, like the new Ghostbusters came out, and apparently that's got the um. It's got the '80s kid in it. It's got that '80s kid. I'm just keen for a Y2K futurism revival that's going to be around the corner. Show. I mean, it it is. There's like, it's starting with like a, a lot of Y2K fashion now. Um, people are back to wearing there's a I forget what, what cut of jeans they are and like studded belts wristbands like uh like warmer things they're not like warmers they're like uh I forget what they are a lot of uh like trendy like fashion uh zoomers are bringing back that like early like Y2K like fashion uh, new Matrix will be what probably kicks it off. Are they doing a new Matrix? Fuck me. Just let me fuck. Just oh my god. I mean, granted, like Matrix kind of ruined itself. <laughs> Hear that bang? It's my window. Uh, fucking like like Matrix ruined itself because the fucking what's it called? Uh, like the sequels and stuff. There's horrible sequels. Why can't I open this? I don't understand. Okay, I guess like not allowed to be here. I oh, guess I'll leave then. Guess I'll just fuck off and die. How do I... <sighs> Keanu is, is a new... is Neo 2. It's gonna bring back drum and bass. Keanu will be in anything there. And specifically that. Especially because he like... He likes his fans. And he's like clearly like grateful for where he is. So he's like gonna do shit that he knows people are gonna be excited to see him in again. Especially cause like his only like 
Not only. I shouldn't say that. Like, <laughs> his his biggest strength is that he's likable. So I'm not surprised. Is he gonna be like a main character? This fucking old ass Keanu. That's really helpful, actually. That sucks. I could, I could, I really could use that. Damn it! To so be able to deflect projectiles, that would be very helpful. The main character. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I guess that's a bit better. I uh. It's not as bad. I'm assuming it's the Wachowski sisters now as well. They're doing it. Or is it... Did they sell it? It is the Wachowskis, right? I don't know. Like, uh, Matrix 2 sucked. Matrix 3 was even worse. So they're 1 out of 3. Made one really good movie and then they... They made two genuinely fucking horrible movies. I'd hope anyway you couldn't make a Matrix movie with anyone else as the main character. It'd just be... Well, I mean, yeah, but, like, it's... It's a fucking... It's a 20-year-old reboot. Like, it, <laughs> They're usually like, oh, the new generation. A new cast of lovable characters. And then they'll have like Keanu die in it or something. John Woo would have taken. John Woo should have taken over Matrix. I mean, it would have been more interesting. Would have been less assholes fucking posing in front of a green screen. It just shocks me because like, uh, uh, shocks me. I guess it, it's just so disappointing because like, like the first Matrix is so good in terms of like just about everything. And it's like the choreography is like really fun and yeah, it's just like a good solid action movie. And then like the next two are uh, just like, they're so fucking bad. And it's just like, it's all like relying on like green screens and CG and shit. Not all, like not completely, but a lot of it is, especially the, th the third one specifically, I fucking hated because of that. Cause it's like a lot of just like, it's just fucking Keanu and like Agent Smith is just like, just posing. And then it's just like them like zooming around the city, like flying and like pretending to have like this big fucking anime battle. It's hard to watch. Uh oh, big anime ball. <laughs> oh, he's a king. He's the big bad king up in the temple. I guess. Big ruler. Is that it? Gotcha. Cool. Don't care. Hyperlight Grifter isn't doing too well. It's constantly coughing up blood. Blood. The shotgun's pretty helpful. <laughs> Zam, this shotgun's pretty freaking helpful.
Oh god. More cash, baby. That's some kind of fucking hologram. Oh, fucking whoa, whoa. Hey, what's up, gamers? Have you ever been a computerized entertainment software, also known as a video game, and the, en the enemies get really close to you? It's annoying, right? Well, did you know that many video games feature a shotgun, which is a really helpful weapon that can be used to clear out those encounters and reach the end of the level? That's right, gamers. The enemies get close, use the shotgun, and then you'll <laughs> get that epic achievement royal victory number one. Listen, if the game's just going to give me a tool to make things easier, then why wouldn't I take it? I know I could just play on easy mode as well, but, you know, technically speaking, if I beat the game, it'll say that I did it, even if I made things easy for myself. Don't, don't demonize me. <laughs> Oh, it's dead. It's already dead. I didn't need to fucking hit it anymore. Oh, a dog. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Okay, no worries, boss. How do I? Oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. Oops. Oh, it's a bird wizard. I thought he was just a guy. That he's just a normal fella. It wasn't. It was a. It was some kind of wizard. Damn it. Oh wait, I think there's a help back at the bottom now. There was. Look at that. Look at that. Observant gamer. That's what they call me. My friends refer to me as the owl, as the owl of video games because I'm constantly on the lookout. I have big eyes, my big eyes keep a watch of everything, completely non-oblivious at all. What? Oh, okay. Go, cool. gotcha. I couldn't tell where the fuck I was. <laughs>
fucking hell. <laughs> Come back any time. Nothing, nothing this way, nothing over here. Oh, I see. I see, very nice. It's a very nice little game feature they featured right here. Hopefully I remember that. Ah. Top 10 Gamer Features, number one, Rumble. <laughs> I don't know why a top 10 list would start at number one. I ruined the joke. <laughs> shit. Shit, ass, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, ass, shit, fuck, ass. God damn it. Why didn't I just heal? Why didn't I just use the fucking health pack? The fucking hell pack. Just spawn me outside of it. Hello? <laughs> God damn it. Is that a glitch? Is that not meant to happen? I don't think this is meant to happen. Guess I'll die. Guess I'll just die and try again. Fucking broken game. Fucking broken five year old game. You think the devs would fix this one already? Fuck me. No. No.
didn't want to do that just yet. Uh, hey, cat enemy, huh? can you fucking shut the fuck up? Yeah, thanks. Wow, shit. I didn't see a thing. Ah, fuck. Um. That was a stressful game I remember right there. Barely know how I survived that one. Shit. Ugh. A Faza sent me back. No, that's not that bad. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. I actually didn't have a health pack. I thought I did. Do you now. I just got one. things do. What 
the, what the heck do these things do? Huh? Oh, that's what I don't want to do. No, not what I wanted to do at all. Oops. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait, no. It's alright, I can go back. Look up the statue, two penguins by Constant, Constantin Brancus. Brancus sounds like a name you'd make up. You'd be pretty fucking cautious about her being a uh, gaslit. Uh, right now, I don't think my heart can take anymore. Yeah, I'll look it up. She can't. That's fucking weird. Can I like? Can I minimize that? No, I can't even minimize the game. Can I quit? Less than a minute ago. I'll save. That's fine. That's fine. I actually, might uh, end things. Uh, for today. For today. Anyway, I only just wanted to kind of check out this game for a bit. Kill some time. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain, so I might just get head out and do some shit before it inevitably does. Inevitably, like it's actually going to. Two penguins. Con. <laughs> it. Nothing's coming up. Brancusi? It's, it's, pr it's pretty saucy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Brancusi. So it wasn't Brancus. Because Brancus just sounded like a stupid thing you would make up. Is that him? Looks like a, a, a Murgus. Told you something, don't look up two penguins by Constance. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Uh thanks Michael for coming by. I'm glad you got the stream notification.